Lee Tiffin will kick off. Ron Brooks and Trendon Holiday are the deep man. This will be Ron Brooks, number 13, near side. Tackled and down at the 26 yard line. The stop made by number 20, Tyrone King. Joseph for Richard Dixon, the tight end. Dixon will not play. An injury that we just learned about an hour before the game. Here's a quick toss left to R.J. Jackson, number 28. Joseph back with time. He'll run. He does this quite well. Jefferson might not have gotten it. Nice and high. Arenas with a fair catch taken at the 20-yard line. There he is right there. He switched sides for the play. That's best on best. Here's McElroy inside to Marquise Mays. Got a seam. Gets a block. First down, Alabama. Third down. Blitz again. McElroy finds his third option. That's a tight end. Williams gets a block to Marquise Mays. And it is a first down across the 50. Trendon Holiday who's averaging 14.6 yards per return. Had a couple of big ones against Tulane last week. And he'll let this one bounce, and it's going to go out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Play clock at five. Let's it go deep down the middle. Caught wide open. There is a flag as LaFell makes the catch. You're only allowed to formation. Five players in the backfield against the offense. Five yard penalty, third down. Nice and high and fairly deep. Arenas back at midfield. Shakes the first tackle, can't get by the second. So good downfield coverage by the Tigers. John Chavis, first year defensive coordinator after that uh, illustrious stay at his alma mater, Tennessee. Here's a little quick clip out to Ingram. He's got some room and he breaks the first tackle, moves it down to the 40. It's gonna be third and short. Now, Chad Jones, who's a little more sure-handed than Trendon Holiday, and who also, by the way, has a 93-yard punt return for a touchdown, is back. He drifts under it, lets it go well over his head. That's a touchback, it'll come out to the 20. They'll go from the eye formation now with Scott at fullback and Keelan Williams at the tailback now the shift there's the clip left side Tolliver's open as the defender slipped and fell Woodall misses the tackle and Kareem Jackson who had slipped and fallen catches up to make the tackle Shepard's longest run of the year against Auburn 69 yards here's the option pitch no late Javier Arenas Now Les Miles will go with his place kicker as the pooch punter. It's Josh Jasper. And this one will bounce. Oh boy. Right along the one yard line. And Ron Brooks got down there and down the ball. All right, thank you, Tim. Oregon 5-0 and in the Pac-10 for the second time. Here's McElroy from the end zone. He goes for Marquise Mays. Got it. I think you expect your free safety to get to that throw. Blitz coming from Harry Coleman. No flag in the backfield. The pass is complete for LSU. Well, it's a game of field position here in the first quarter. And because of that 37-yard pass caught by Marquise Mays, Alabama punting and the potential to put LSU deep again. This one down at the nine-yard line. LSU is hanging right in there. They have tremendous talent. Play fake. Pass out of the end zone. It's caught by D'Angelo Peterson. My gracious. Russell Shepard on the field again. They quick flip it behind him. Nice catch. And then he breaks a tackle. And is look at the enthusiasm of the assistant coaches. How about that? Alabama's coming. 
Jefferson dodges the tackle behind the line and gets down to the 45-yard line. Shepard is on the field. They hand it short to Scott. He does not get there. Yes, he did. Oh, he, he did. Second. Yes, yep. indeed. I thought his initial contact had stopped him. Blitz again. Jefferson steps up. He'll run it. He's got the first plus. Tyler Edwards is on as a tight end. Here's the option near side. The pitch. Scott inside the 15. Tries to sweep, does Shepard. Cuts it back. He picks up a first down. First and 10 LSU trying to be the first to score. Good protection in the end zone. Wide open is D'Angelo Peterson with his first touchdown catch of 2009. Arenas and Julio Jones are the deep men. Arenas. Still going. Out near midfield. Trent Richardson is on the field. Here's McElroy. Four-man rush. Comes right. Julio Jones with a catch. It's just amazing to me that that's only his 21st catch of the year. Richardson. Spin move. Bangs his way for a first down at the 35-yard line. Brandon Taylor finally took him down. That's a pickup of 11. McElroy back, steps up, settles for the short man, Marquise Mays on the underneath crossing route. Third and ten. McElroy will have to run, looks for help. He's not going to get close. He's down at the 11-yard line. It'll be fourth down. Again, they come up short. This one for 28 yards. He's the number two all-time scorer in Alabama history. And with that kick... He climbs within five points of tying Philip Doyle for the all-time lead. 5.09 to go, and Derek Hilton on to punt. Oh, he's strong. Yes. Arenas near the 15. Looks for the wall. Can't find it. There's a flag down. During the return, the illegal block in the back. Number 17, receiving team. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Out of the shotgun, handoff up the middle, goes to Mark Ingram. All the way out to the 35-yard line. First down, 10. McElroy, left side, wide open, one-on-one. -on -one. Marquise Mays, fourth catch. And had a 93-yard touchdown return of a punter. There's P.J. Fitzgerald. That will uh, come to rest at the 17-yard line. Return on all the way. See what Arenas has in mind. Backs up. Oh, oh my gosh. Danny McCray. Oh. And as we get back to play, it's second and nine at the 25. Ingram way wide to the left. McElroy. Short route, Marquise Mays comes underneath again. And uh, that's gonna be an Alabama first down. Clock stops while they reset the chain. 55 seconds to go. McElroy, Julio Jones breaks free across the 50 to the 49. That's a timeout. Now they got the ball over half the field. Clock stops, a very good drive right now. McElroy comes right. Got his tight end, Brad Smelly. And Alabama, two timeouts left. Ingram again splits wide to the right side. McElroy's going deep into double coverage. The oh. flag is thrown. Peterson pleading, no, not me. Now, yep. will John Chavis bring the house? 
on first down. Yes. Yes, yes he does. McElroy off his back foot. Oh, my gosh. Colin Peake was not even looking. Oh, is Urban in McElroy's face? Excuse me. Is Nick Saban in Greg McElroy's face on this one? And LSU on the road will take a knee. Watch Nick on this play. Oh, man. Right at his quarterback. Only the fourth interception McElroy has thrown this year. But as they neared this end zone, he once threw wide right of Julio Jones. And now, here's Nick Saban with Tracy. But you know, LSU comes into this game and says, we got just as good as athletes as you do. And they are toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Here's McElroy back to throw. He will run instead. Now fires. And it is caught. Mark Ingram on the receiving end. Two receptions for 19 yards so far. One touchdown for the year. And here's the handoff to Ingram. Out to the 36-yard uh, line. Are we going to see more Ingram? And Mays is off on a first half. Here's Ingram again. Yes, look at him. Almost. Out of Flint, Michigan. First down and 10. They'll go to him for the third time, and he's got a little stutter step that allows him to pick up three more yards. First down, Alabama. Ingram goes out as a wideout now on second and 10. Now comes back to uh, set up alongside. And he gets the handoff, goes left. A heavy dose of Mark Ingram. Again, Peterson swaps over to cover Julio Jones at the top of your screen. McElroy rolling out, goes deep for Hanks, caught it, touchdown Alabama! He's got the only touchdown of the game for LSU. Here's the option going right. Oh, late pitch, but Scott gets it and turns the corner. Late on the field, one of the Alabama defenders, Tolliver has a first down. Obviously, they make switch defenses and didn't get it out there. Scott on first down to the 40-yard line. Eric Anders, number 32, tackles Charles Scott, number 32. Scott, quick opener, right side, first down at the 47 of Alabama. That's a gain of nine and another LSU first down. Blitz. Play fake. Jefferson in real trouble. Throws it away. There should be a flag. There is. Third and 25. Alabama counters. They will send three and drop eight. Here's Lee underneath. R.J. Jackson. That's a nice gain to the 42-yard line, but leaves them needing five more. This time, four-man rush. Thanks. Pass is caught. R.J. Jackson. First down, LSU at the 25, and a flag is thrown. There are two flags on the field. One back at the 41. Prior to the snap, false start. 78, offense, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. Never happened because of the uh, illegal procedure. False start. Here's the punt, Arenas. Oh, another good one. Watch out. Yeah. McElroy, play fake, watch out. Throws it, hit his offensive lineman. There's a flag in the end zone. It'll be a safety. An intentional grounding on the offense results in a safety. Oh, my. It forced the big third down play, and it ended up costing him two points. Here's the uh, free kick by P.J. Fitzgerald. Trendon Holiday at the 25. And he gets out to the 42-yard line. It's not counted as a sack, but you might as well have. 
Here's LaFell out of the right side out to, to the 47 yard line. Now they came in only 11 sacks for the season. Lee has three to the left. Hands off to Scott. See if he got the first I down. I think he did. Yeah, it looked like he did. This is the pistol formation. Hand off Scott up the middle, big open. Breaks a tackle. Now the chase is on. Kareem Jackson from behind. But a huge gain of 34 yards for Charles Scott, who remains on the ground. Second down. Stephen Ridley, number 34, is in. Ridley, extensive action in the fourth quarter in the win over Tulane last week. A flag is down. Ridley had 73 yards. Dead ball. Offside. Number 95. Came into the neutral zone, causing a false start. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Jarrett Lee with the change. Hand off. Ridley. Bounces off the tackle of Reamer, heads for the corner, touchdown Tigers! And Les Miles wants to go for two. On the field for Alabama, here's Lee, drills it, bobbled, incomplete. D'Angelo Peterson, and it's 15-10. LSU with four down. Quarterback draw, McElroy up the middle. And he's got a first down at the 47-yard line. Under two to go, third quarter. Ingram. Watch him go. To the 30. Man, man. Chicken fighting out there and allowing a little screen for Ingram. Ingram now over 100 yards. Look at that. How about that? Trent Richardson. Kelvin Shepard with the tackle. Ingram. Ooh, close. No. Did he get across the line? Forward progress. Mays Seven and Jones. Seven first down. Excuse me, Vern. Yep. They break off to the right. Here's the toss. Near side. Ingram. To the four-yard line. Now leave Tiffin, who earlier this season, five of five against Ole Miss, four of four in the win against Tennessee. And he cuts this one inside the right upright. And Alabama climbs to within two. 10.45 to go. Derek Hilton with a punt. Arenas takes a very nice LSU roll. Because of the injury, as Julio Jones is matched up against a safety. McElroy, here's Julio Jones. Gets by the safety, and he's got a chance. The chase is on, and it will be won by Julio Jones. Toss, Richardson. Got it! A formation confusion now for LSU. Jarrett Lee back under pressure. Marcel Darius gets there first. He's a beast. Yes. Set up a tying field goal. Here's the uh, Hilton punt. Arenas, fair catch at the 45. Fitzgerald on to punt. Trendon Holiday at the 10-yard line. Oh, they come after it. And a flag is thrown. Oh, boy. Daniel Graff, who blocked a punt last week. You know, he had a pretty good run at Running it. Running into the kicker. Five-yard penalty. It's going to be short. Yes. Wildcat. McElroy on the line of scrimmage wide right. Ingram. He's got it. And he's got a first down for Alabama. Second down. 
McElroy drifting right. Nobody open. Wow. Did he catch that? Was that intercepted? Well, Peterson caught it. I'll tell you that. He got a foot in, I think. Oh, he was tucking the ball, though. He was tucking the ball away. This oh. is going to be close. Patrick Peterson. What a play. His right foot. I thought his right toe came down. Watch this. Hmm. Gee. Looked to me like his right toe came down. Peterson ate this one up. His foot definitely, you see the dirt come up? Yeah. His foot definitely touched the ground. That's the divot. They called it incomplete. Exactly. I think it's an interception. I'm going to have to say. I think he intercepted the ball. Now Tom Ritter. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Incomplete pass. Third down. McElroy. Caught at the 35. Down to the 30. First down. Julio Jones. Here is Tiffin. About to become, if he makes this, the all-time scoring leader in Alabama history and with a chance to probably secure the victory. It's up. And he's got it. Out of the gun. Elon Williams split to the left. Lee, Brandon LaFell. Reverses field. First down at the 32-yard line. Under three to go. 12 yards. Keelan Williams again split out. Here's Jarrett Lee. In trouble. Marcel Darius has him again. Second sack in the ball game for number 57. Three to the right. Two to the left. Alabama backs off. Looks like Nico Johnson is coming. So is Barron. The pass. Intercepted. Yes. Robbie Green, number 23. That should do it. The final knee. Crimson Tide under Nick Saban. 9-0. Remember, they started the season 12-0 last year and lost in that thrilling battle to Florida and then were defeated by Utah. But that's in the distant past right now. The Alabama Crimson Tide win the West. Let's go down to Tracy, who is with Mark Ingram. Mark, congratulations. 144 yards for you on the ground in the biggest game of the season. What went right for you today? Just got to give all the credit to my offensive line, like always. They did a great job of getting a push, getting a head on the hand, creating seams for me to run through. Receivers did a great job blocking downfield. I just, I just uh, ran off of them and had some big runs tonight. Coach tried to downplay all week the enormity of this game, but it's such a big win. You clinched the West in a rematch with Florida. How much does this mean to you guys? It's real important. It's just another step closer to our goal. We just got to keep winning, keep practicing hard, keep getting better as a team. Thanks a lot. Coach, Thank one question with you. This offense, the best we've seen it so far this season. What went right? Well, you know, we played well in the first half. We just didn't finish drives, and you know, I think it's a great victory for our team. We made the plays we needed to make to win the game. It's a great victory for our fans. I'm really proud of our players. Just outstanding. Thanks a lot, Coach. Right, Enjoy thank it. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.